Dr. Short has made some amazing contributions to our School of Engineering and Computer Science during his 27 years here at Cedarville University. He brings lots of experience and amazing stories from his time at the Naval Research Labs. Dr. Short has taught our students at every level from the freshman year through the senior year. He helps out with the freshman course, The Engineering Profession, by organizing and teaching the Circuits Lab, which gives the students a chance to get their hands on uh, doing some soldering on a circuit board. He's effective because of the way he cares about his students and the way that he's, well, initially intimidating from what they tell me and then ends up being really fun and interesting. He describes himself as an old curmudgeon and makes us all laugh. But really when you get to know him, his fatherly spirit shines through as he shows his compassion and kindness to others. I know Jeff uh, is an intense individual. Uh, you don't know a person until you compete with them. And Jeff and I have had some pretty intense racquetball games over the years. Uh, but uh, I think what's more telling about Jeff is the fact that he has a heart for his students. He's the scary old professor that no one really knows what to do with. And that was kind of my first introduction to Dr. Short. And then sophomore year, I had some senior friends who would talk about him and be like, he's my favorite professor. And then junior year, I actually got to have him as a professor. And I'm like, okay, so why is he their favorite professor? I go into class and sit down and he gets up and he's talking and he's looking like the same scary old professor from engineering professions. But the way that he starts his lecture is you are not an engineer who happens to be a Christian, you are a Christian who happens to be an engineer. And that kind of defined the way that he taught us, defined the way that he did classes, and defined the way that he kind of was just involved in our lives. Really, Dr. Shore and his wife, Sandy, have gone above and beyond in showing compassion and kindness to others, particularly, particularly those of us who are younger faculty members and to his students. This has shown through whether it's helping us get settled in the area or giving furniture to previous students, making sure that they have the connections that they need professionally, spiritually, getting grounded in a church has been really important to them. They're also very encouraging to us to do what is right. And when we're doing things that are hard but that are right, they're very encouraging and very uh, warm and hospitable and uh, is very comfortable people to be around. He's a straight shooter. He always tells you things exactly as they are and that is really helpful when we're sitting together as a school of engineering trying to uh, make a decision or figure something out. I also admire Dr. Short for his faithfulness. Uh, he's faithful to our School of Engineering in terms of his dedication. He's faithful to his students and teaching them. And I really, again, couldn't talk about Dr. Short without mentioning his commitment to family. He does really seek to put his wife and his five children and his grandchildren first. And I really so appreciate that example that he sets for the rest of us. Hey, Dr. Short. I want to say, probably on behalf of the entire class, that we've really, really appreciated having you as a professor. Thanks for sticking around at least this one more year. And we will definitely be thinking of you when we start our jobs, and we'll be thinking, <sighs> Dr. Shorts out there at Glacier National Park, enjoying looking at really big rocks of ice. I just want to congratulate you on uh, this, next, this uh, current phase of your life that you're wrapping up. Uh, congratulations on your retirement and I look forward to ser uh, serving with you uh, in the next chapter of your life. I am very happy for you. I know you've been really looking forward to your retirement. Hope you get to have a lot of fun and you get to do a lot of what you wanna do and a lot of nothing, if that's what you want. Um, and I hope I won't have to build any analog circuits anytime soon because, uh, well, I won't be able to do it very easily but that's okay, I'll have to figure it out, I guess. And I appreciate your example to me as a faculty member. I appreciate your work in our School of Engineering. I appreciate the example that you have set for our students. So I wish you well in your next endeavors, in your, in your uh, journey. I pray that the Lord would be both with you and Sandy as you move forward from here.
thank you so much for the 27 years you've put into Cedarville University. Uh, it's, it's been good to engage with you from uh, the heart and getting your sense of uh, the academics that are important for us, for the electrical engineers more specifically, and, and then also for uh, the broad service that uh, we share in Christ to our churches and to our families. Uh, we can share uh, grandfather stories as uh, we've come to, to grow of age together. And so we look forward to staying in touch as you go into retirement.